Okay, say hi to Wendell Kim. Hi, boys and girls. This is my son, Donald. He's easier to visit because I don't get to see him very much because he goes to school in, in Arizona. But, uh, and Donald really doesn't like baseball that much, so he studies real hard. He's in, he goes to the libraries, he gets straight A's. And uh, for the last few years, whatever he wants to do, if he wants to read and do things like that instead of play baseball, that's okay with me. Uh, all of you like baseball? Yes. Yeah. See, some of you right here, why I'm a little less giant, because some of you, you kids right here is just as tall as I am, right? Huh? That means you got a chance to play. You got a chance to do whatever you want to do. Okay, they told me when I, was, when I was in high school that I wouldn't be in the major leagues. They told me I wouldn't do the things I wanted to do. So I studied real hard, I went on to college, played college baseball, and then ended up signing a, a contract with the San Francisco Giants back in 1973. So this is my 21st season with the San Francisco Giants. And at 5'4", five, five, that's not too big as, for a ball player. Darren Lewis and Brian Hickson is about six feet or above. So I'm pretty small on the standards of baseball, but if you, in baseball, a little guy can make it if he really puts out and, and, and does what he has to do. So if you want to play ball, you have to get good grades to, to uh, play on your baseball team in high school and college, and then eventually be seen and then drafted by a, maybe a professional organization like the San Francisco Giants. Do you, uh, you, any of you have questions at all? Yes? Good call to a player as if um, they were coming around third. Yes, there's a lot of pressure put on a third base coach. I'm a third base coach uh, uh, for the last two years. What I try to do, though, just like you preparing to, to, to play baseball, you're preparing to be a doctor, you're going to study and do certain things. What I do is that before the game even starts, I go over all the charts of the opposing team, okay, their arms in the outfield, okay? Secondly, I go watch them take infield to see how, f if their arm is, is up to par. Are they throwing okay? Are they got a hurt arm? Or they got to hurt something? Then what I will do is position myself on the field, knowing the situation. For instance, if this, is, if this is the third base bag, instead of staying right here and make a decision, I will go down the line a little bit further to make a better decision, giving myself more time, and calculate the speed of my runner, the arm of the outfielder and the position of where he's going to throw. So it's not really all guess. I try to make a good decision. I think I made one boo boo this year, and that was in uh, in Montreal. And he got Darren Lewis got thrown out by a long way, so it was my fault. But I've also made a lot of good good moves where they didn't understand how come I would do certain moves, meeting the media, the newspaper people. They're always picking on me. They always they only talk to me when I mess up. When I do well, they don't talk to me, so that's okay with me. Uh, that's part of the job. It goes with the territory, and, uh, and I understand that. Any more questions? Yes? Have you ever made a wrong um, hand call? When you, uh, when you're doing your hand sign, have you ever made a wrong one? Wrong one? Mm -hmm. Yes, but if I make a mistake, I can correct it very easily. For instance, if this is a bunt, this is a hit and run, this is a steal, okay? And it's the first time I touch any of these spots, but hit and run steal, right? If I go to my hat, I just take it right off. For instance, I give a bunt. So he's supposed to bunt, right? But I make a mistake, the manager does not want a bunt sign. He wants a steal sign, because he went to the wrong ear. He changes on me, okay? He goes to this ear to me. So now, when I go to my hat, it erases it, and then I go to my left ear. So even though I make a mistake, I can always come back and correct it. Okay, on the signs. Signs are pretty simple, but they're only complicated because of certain things we do uh, all the time. Because I'll do this a lot. That means I put it on, took it off, never put another one on. Okay, these are not our signs. I'm just making them up. <laughs> so you can't get me and tell the other team, but I know you wouldn't do that. Any other questions about anything? I, uh, right now, I'm also, as long as being a third base coach, I'm the exercise coach. Uh, I'm the defensive coordinator. I move the defense around, the infield and the outfield, uh, against our pitchers, against their players. So I will move our defense around so we're in the right position. I also make up all the lineup cards to the umpires and line up in the dugout. Yes? When you work as 
trainer. Um, has anyone that you've worked with before have really like changed as if like a a veteran might have been like slowing down and like all of a sudden speeded up? Well, some of the veterans, what we to do in the off season, Mackie Shillstone is our really our strength coach, and I just carry on his uh, exercises. What he does, he has a program for every one of our players. Every day I work out, okay, even though I'm a coach, because I, I want to. Most of the coaches will work out. The players also have a program to build strength and endurance for the whole year. Okay, but they usually do that in the off season and they maintain it during the season. For instance, I will run the stairs at Candlestick every other day, and I will do uh, my stair masters every other day to just break it up. But I don't have to play like a player does you know, all the way through the season. Any questions? Nothing at all? Is that it? I went in the back. You want to see some a uh, couple of magic tricks? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You positive? Yeah. Okay, this one trick, and I hope this works. Can you see this glass? Pass it around without breaking it. Okay? Okay, that's a real glass, right? Yeah. Okay. When I was seven years old, I wanted to be in the major leagues. When I was 14, I wanted to be a teacher. I am doing both of the things that I wanted to do when I was younger. So you set some goals, all right? Set some goals of what you want to do, and then work towards that. But I did some things at school that uh, panned out for me. I have a lot of different hobbies. I'm writing a book now. I do magic tricks as a hobby. I do a lot of uh, clinics all over uh, the Bay Area. The Giants always called me to, to come out and talk to, to kids and, and do baseball clinics and things like that because I feel I'm very good at it and, and I, I love doing it. Okay? Some of the magic tricks that I do, I, I've done really all over the United States. Some of the other teams want me to do it for them. Some of the other players, because they've seen me do it, because players trade teams all, all together. The trick what I'm going to do here is that I have a, a glass, correct? I hope give it to my son. Stand up. So. And I have a deck of cards here, okay? I'm going to, would you pick a card out of here, please? Just pick a card. Show everybody the card. Doesn't mean anything. I just want to show you this regular deck of cards. Okay, you want to give it back? I'll put it right on top, okay? I'll take it out. This card don't mean anything. You got it? Okay? You see that? Okay, you got it? Okay, now what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to put this glass right on top of the deck, just like that. Can you see anything? It's right on top of the deck, is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Would you throw me an invisible quarter? Just throw it to me. Flip it to me hard. Okay, very good. See that invisible quarter? Can you see it? I'm gonna put it right on top of the glass. Can you see that quarter on top of the glass? No. You can't see it? Can you see any quarter at all on the deck of cards? Okay, what I'm going to do here, and I'll roll up my sleeves, okay? Invisible quarter's on top. You threw me the invisible quarter, is that correct? Now, what I want you all to do is count to three very slowly all together, like one, two, three. And then I'm going to hit the top of the glass where the invisible quarter is, and a real quarter will end up in the glass itself. You believe that? It's kind of hard to believe, isn't it? Okay, you ready? You ready? When I say go, you say one, two, three. Go. One, two, three. Would you take that quarter off, please? And show everybody the quarter. <laughs> okay. Now, hold this up. We did it in this room. Again, the quarter. Show everybody the quarter side. Take it out. Don't be keeping my quarter now. All right. He's got the quarter in his pocket. Same glass from this area of the room. Please, gentlemen, throw me a... A quarter out of your pocket, please. Invisible, invisible. Just go, just fake. Very good. Another quarter right on there. Okay, this time, see the quarter? No. You always say no. And you saw the quarter come out. Okay, right there. Yeah, you got it. Okay, what I want you to do now is count backwards. Three, two, one. Okay, you got it? Three, two, one, when I say go. Now there's the quarters on top, it's invisible. Deck of cards. Okay, you got it? You sure you got it? You positive? Put it right on top. You don't see a, a quarter underneath, do you? There's no quarter. Okay. Ready? Go. Three, two, one. 
Would you pull that quarter out, please? And show everybody the quarter. You like that? Huh? Can I have my quarter back? Thank you. <laughs> it takes a long time to do these tricks, along with my baseball skills, along with my writing skills, and my uh, say magic skills. So you, can, you can really do something and, and make your uh, parents proud. Thank you very much. I think you're going to see the real top players here at the San Francisco Giants.